As math and science teachers, we strive to provide experiences which focus on the content standards, connect the content to real-world experiences, integrate engineering design, give students voice and control, engage students with hands-on experiences, connect to a societal need. CBL integrates all of these characteristics as students begin with the big idea, develop an essential question, identify a design challenge, brainstorm guiding questions, participate in concept foundation activities, and utilize the engineering design process to create and test design products. Now, let's look at these pieces and how they fit together. Academic Standards Challenge-based learning units must meet the needs of the state and national academic standards for math and science. The hook is designed to catch the attention of the students and help make the challenge relevant to their lives. It could be an activity, a video, or teacher presentation. The hook precedes the big idea. This cello is made from an oil can and wood that was thrown away in the garbage. It sounds like this. Big idea. A big idea is one that is important on a local or global scale and that students can work with to gain the deep multidisciplinary content knowledge and understanding that is required by the standards for their grade level. An example of a local big idea would be improving classroom design, and a global example would be sustainability of the environment. What is sound? Essential question. The big idea allows for the generation of a wide variety of essential questions that reflect the interests of the students and the needs of their community. Each group will narrow their thoughts to one essential question. The essential question? How was the musical scale created? We generated interest by looking at a wave generator and then mathematically we tied the unit circle into the sine wave and the cosine wave. Challenge. From the essential question, multiple challenges are brainstormed by students from which one is identified, or the teacher presents the challenge, bypassing the student brainstorm. This concise challenge asks students to create a specific solution that will result in concrete, meaningful action. The challenge utilizes the engineering design process that answers the essential question. First began by studying various types of musical instruments and how they generate sound. Students then broke into groups and studied various musical instruments and how they produce sound. Then we set about constructing our instruments keeping in mind that we had to produce an eight-note scale. Guiding questions. Generated by the students, guiding questions represent the knowledge needed to successfully develop a solution for the challenge. For example, if the big idea is water, guiding questions might include, how do we use water? How much water do we use? How much is water wasted? How much water is wasted? Can water be conserved? And where does water come from? Preliminary investigations to answer guiding questions. Physical versus chemical properties lab. What is the 
difference between a physical and a chemical property? Can anything about a material be changed without a chemical change occurring? How are materials that can't be recycled separated from recyclables? How can contaminants be removed without changing the recyclable materials? How could a material's physical characteristics like density be used to identify different materials? Can density be used to separate materials without touching them? In what ways are recyclable metals the same and different from each other? In what ways are recyclable plastics the same and different from each other? In what ways are recyclable paper products the same and different from each other?